How you doing? I'm Tainai here for TK24 Sports. Now, I said we will be back sooner than you think, and I wasn't lying, but if you're new to the show, make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss a show every time we upload. In the last video, I told you Martin Odegaard already signed for Arsenal. I said there's going to be more signings, and here we are right now, back so much quicker than you actually thought. Aaron Ramsdale has now signed for Arsenal. Well, we'll be signing because a deal in principle has been agreed. This is just the case of two in one day. Two to three more are going to be coming by the end of the transfer window. I'm telling you now, Arsenal are rebuilding. They're spending the money. That war chest of 100 to 150, maybe 200 million is absolutely true. There will be players leaving, of course, so the spending revamp can keep on going and going and going. We lost our crap. Last Friday when we lost against Brentford, yeah, we got Chelsea coming up and what you don't think Arteta isn't going to get these plays revved up, but that's for another show for another day. Let's talk about Aaron Ramsdale, who's going to kick Leno up the backside. Ramsdale isn't coming here just to be the number two to warm the bench and play in FA Cups and League Cups. No, he's come to play Premier League football. He's going to prove all the doubters wrong who said he's rubbish. He's been relegated twice. Really? That's the best you got? That's the best you've got? I'm going to tell you this right now. Ramsdale can shot stop. He can actually catch the ball. He can command his area. He can actually distribute. You just haven't seen it, but he can distribute. I'm also going to tell you this. He's much faster with the ball at his feet than Leno is. He can actually command the ball better than Leno is. But then again, you're going to say, oh my God, we had Martinez and we sold him to Villa. And we, we sold him for 20 million and now we're paying 24 million or I'll rise it up to maybe 30 million. For what reason? Martinez didn't have the mental capacity to actually fight for being the number one at Arsenal. And yet, the man you keep on crying after is trying to say that Villa made his ass. Get over yourselves, Arsenal fans. There's no winning here, is there? But anyway, I'm excited about this one. I'm going to tell you why. Because now we've got an English soon-to-be number one goalkeeper. And the last time we had that was... Can you remember? Can you remember the last time we had an English goalkeeper? No, no I, I can. I, I know. David Seaman. And then we had Richard Wright. Well, hmm. But David Seaman was the last time we had an England number one. Then he had to wait out until Chris Woods aged out. And now we've got Aaron Ramsdale. What, we're going to really tear, tear him apart because he got relegated twice? His team got relegated twice. Unfortunately, the, the team that he played for just weren't good. Now we've got a goalkeeper we're going to bring in. It's going to challenge Leno to another level. Another level. I've had a couple of jelly beans. So the hiccups are coming up. The excitement is kicking in. The sweats are kicking in. There's more signings to come, people. And Aaron Ramsdale with Martin Odegaard today is just the signing of what's about to happen. And I'm glad they're making these signings now because now on the bench we're going to have Ramsdale. Odegaard may start on the bench, but it's going to be a lift. We've got the locksmith, and now we've got the gatekeeper. Whew, that's a new one right there. Got the locksmith, and now we've got the gatekeeper. Be excited, actually, for this one. So let's start to see what Arteta is going to do with his team. Again, yes, last week Friday, I lost my, I lost my crap. And I said, he's got to go. Let's get Conte in. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I thought to myself, have I given this guy a fair shake? I mean, a real fair shake. Let's see what happens when he starts getting his players in. He's starting to get them in. Eddie, they're starting to get them in. And they're doing it at the right time. They're waiting to a week and a week and a half to go before the window actually shuts and get the prices down to a price that makes sense because then they can keep on going spending. I mean, I saw another video today and one guy is trying to say, well, they really wanted Odegaard. Why not just pay the eight to 10 million pounds more than if you really wanted your man? Who the hell will pay eight to 10 million pounds more when you just wait a bit? Yeah, you lost your first opening game. No big deal. There's 30 sort of seven more games to go and you get the Odegaard in for 30 million. Then you're going to go and get um, Ramsdale now for 24 million. Great business, Arsenal. Should, should have waited. I should have waited, and as they've been saying, judge us at the end of the transfer window. I'm going to wait, I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to judge at the end of the transfer window. Aaron Ramsdale coming in is a great signing for Arsenal. It's great for Leno. Now he's got real competition. Real competition. So, 
Arsenal fans, what's your thoughts? Football fans, what's your thoughts? Get involved, have your say, share the video. But if you like this portion of the show, make sure you like, subscribe, turn that notification on so you don't miss a show every time we upload. And again, I'm going to be seeing you much sooner than you actually think. Thanks for watching. I'm Ty Knight for TK24 Sports.